Welcome everybody, Rick here, and I am at, actually this is a, another form of a bridge. This is called the Tress Bridge. This particular bridge is called the Auto Tress, Auto Creek Bridge. Uh, it was built in 1936 by the WPA, the Works Project Administration. The WPA was set up during the Depression to put men back to work. We went to another structure in Lynchburg, Kansas. It was a castle. It is a castle, rather. And that was built by the WPA as well. So, here we are. And it's again, out of the middle of nowhere. A very, very, very long dirt road. Really warm out. Uh, it's still morning. It's about 11.35 this morning. Real excited to bring you this. So... If you've got nothing else to do today, I'm inviting you to come along and join me and help me explore this truss bridge. Okay, and here it is again. This is the Otter, Otter, like the little sea creature, Otter Creek Bridge. Built in 1936 by the work, or works, Project Administration. And again, this is a truss style bridge. <laughs> I went, I went driving over this before I even thought. But I do think it's I do I do think it's used all the time. I've been on these kind of bridges before. I don't think that Otter Creek is much of a much of a creek. But we're gonna go look at it here. Oh, sorry about that. Okay. Yep. And there is Otter Creek. Yeah, I know if it'll support a car, it'll definitely support support me. But there's Otter Creek. Not much of a creek. And there's the other side. Hmm. Wow. Yep. Like I said, it's not quite noon yet, and it's already getting just pretty warm out this morning. This is actually in Chautauqua County, one of our neighboring counties. Oh. <clears throat> hmm. Yep. <laughs> Pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay. This is a cool old bridge. And I know I've said this before and I'll say it again. It's just I love having this bridgehunters.com website because it it does give a lot of information on how to get to these. Well, there's a maps of course, your Google Maps. Um, once you get on the website, the Google Maps will be right there, and you can just click on it, and it'll just give you the coordinates or the directions to get to these bridges. 
I've been very, very successful. I would say 100% rate, or rating rather, of being successful. Um, but now, having said that though, there's been a lot of times, well not a lot of times, there's been a handful of times I've actually got to the bridge that's been on private property, or parts of it have been on private property. Um, so, you know, and like I've said before, bridge hunters will not always tell you for some reason, they don't always tell you it's on private property. You know, sometimes they will and sometimes they won't. And of course, this is concrete railings here. It just seemed like back in the day, they always had some sort of a design to them. Oh, look, we got a plaque over here. Oh, how cool. If I can get to it. It's pretty overgrown. Um, it just says what works project administration and Chautauqua County, Kansas, AD 1936. So it says the same thing that was on my paperwork. Um, looks like there's a little bit of a drop down in there. That's why I did not walk down in there. Looks like a pretty good drop. Oh gosh, that might be five or six feet down there. And I'm just not going to walk. I can zoom in on it, but that's what it says. Yep. Well, that's pretty cool. I would have walked down there, but it's just too much of a drop off for me. Yeah, this is the end of a very long dirt road. Probably probably 15 miles or more. That's a long dirt road to go down. Oh, and there's a car coming, so hold on here just a second. I think there's a car coming. Hold on here just a second. Okay, well, they drove that big heavy truck over that <laughs> without a blink of an eye. Pretty cool old truss style bridge. That's really all, all the information I could get on it. Um, I did get the year, of course, and who built it. And that's just about it. Oh, it's a, this is a pony truss. No, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm sorry, no. This is just called a through a through truss bridge. Sorry about that. This is a through truss bridge. The pony truss bridges are a lot smaller. They're the pony truss bridges. They probably they're probably about as high as this railing right here. This railing that goes down the side. They're probably about that tall as this railing right here. That's a pony truss. This is a through truss bridge. <laughs> Looking, I got a little cheat sheet here I keep all my information on and I looked at the wrong the wrong bridge but anyway <clears throat> boy kind of back up here a little bit we get the whole view of the bridge walk on back across and honestly kind of wonder how this holds vehicles, big heavy trucks. I mean, it's 
it's okay, I guess. <laughs> Evidently. They drove across it like it was no problem. Well, it sure does creak, though. And, of course, you can see straight down through some of those cracks. That may not show up on video. But it's just an old wooden floor deck. Very peaceful out here, except for the occasional traffic, of course. People live, you know, in this area. They're going back and forth to work or into town. I'm not even sure what their next closest town would be. Um, in this area. Like I say, we are in Chautauqua County. That's one of our neighboring counties. Go ahead and take a look at this concrete over here. This massive concrete wall over here. I don't know if we can get that on video or not. Yeah, maybe so. <clears throat> hmm. Um, let me see here. There's a gate there, although it's not marked, not that I can see, but there is a gate there. I'm not sure what's all back in there. I'm not going to go back in there, of course. I was just looking. No, I thought about trying to get a side view of the bridge, but I just don't know about walking down there or not. I can get right here and get a pretty good view side, not exactly a side view, but kind of sort of a side view from here. Let's walk over here. Yeah, it, there's some, um, Big rocks down there. 
Okay, and here's the other side. Their weight limit sign there. See, it just seems like everything they did back then had a, some sort of a style or design incorporated in with like the guard rail, rail sorry, or whatever it might be. Okay, I thought I'd walk down here just a little ways down this road. I didn't go down very far. I hear a bark, a dog barking down there, so I just thought it'd be cool to get kind of a a uh, kind of a side glance at the bridge. It's kind of cool how that rock is stacked up along there. Okay, okay, I thought we would work our way this way. Now we just walk down the middle of it here. I can sure smell that wood. Okay, let's kind of swing around here a little bit. Oh, another look. Okay. Big old blazer that time. Talking on their cell phone. That's one thing I don't do. I don't, I don't talk on those things while I'm driving. If I have to talk, I'll pull over somewhere. If I can, or I'll just have to call whoever it is back. I just don't do that. And let's swing around here and kind of do a little 360 here. I just think bridges like this are so cool because they are so old and they've withstood the test of time you know they've survived all kinds of weather and who knows what all over the years 1936 would have been let me see about what 85 years ago 84 years ago something like that A long time Like I was saying earlier, these cement railings back in the day, you know, they weren't anything real sophisticated, but still, they had some kind of design, what they did back then. I think that's just so cool.
This makes the second bridge I've done today. Earlier this morning, I did a March Arch Bridge located just outside of Cedarvale, Kansas. It was called the Cedarvale Bridge, March Arch Bridge. I've done these through truss bridges before. Um, sometimes they're called Pratt truss bridges, and then, but I really don't know what the difference is. It must be something in the way that they're made. Uh, they look very similar to me, but I am not, um, I don't have that trained eye, you might say. but this just says through truss bridge. So that's what I'm going by. Now I'm just writing about just almost in the middle of the bridge. So we're gonna swing around here. And there's Otter Creek. You know, people drive across this every day and don't think a thing about it, but I think it would be cool. I mean, I just, maybe, maybe it's because I don't drive across these every day. There's actually one of these. Uh, not too far from Independence, Kansas. We found it quite by accident one afternoon going home. Of course, that was a little bit out of our way. I might do a close-up of the, I'll let you look at how these, inside these look, these zigzag uh, supports, and they go all, well they do on that one, oh they do on the end ones, okay that's what it is, it's just on the ends they have those. Boy, it's got to be in the, at least in the 80s today. I think we'll go down here and and then of course go back and probably call that good. Got two bridges in one day, that's pretty good. I 
yeah, sometimes I can do that, and sometimes I can't. It just depends, you know, where they're located at. And I was able to today. Yeah, boy. Really pretty drive down here. I know I say that all the time, but it really is. This kind of in like a Flint Hills, or it is a Flint Hills part of Kansas. Sure see a lot of country you don't normally get to see. You never know what you might run upon. I know one day the wife and I was out on a kind of a back road, um, dirt road, road trip. And we come upon an old abandoned, it could have been a house. It was full, I mean full of vultures. That was crazy. <clears throat> of course, we just viewed them from inside the car. Didn't really want to make them mad. <laughs> I don't know if I don't know if they would do anything or not. I really don't know much about vultures. <clears throat> You know, I think one time we found an old church. I mean, it's just things like that, you know, that you can find. There's another really pretty road that you can take in this area. It's uh, called Wildlife, K-A-W, Wildlife Area. And that's in Oklahoma. And it's a very pretty drive. It's, of course, it's part of the uh, Call Lake and all that down there. Just a real little creek. Okay, there you have it, Otter Creek Bridge, Truss Style Bridge. I'm sure glad you joined me today. Hope you enjoyed it. Sure appreciate uh, the subscribers and people that watch my channel. My little mission statement is I just do this for strictly entertainment and for fun. But it's nice to know that people do enjoy my videos. So that's for their entertainment. So, as I always say, hope you all have a, a nice Friday. Weekend's, of course, coming up. Hope you have a nice weekend. And I will see you on the next video. So, goodbye for now.